Well, we bring you this as well. There may be some hope among the wreckage of the University of Cape Town's special collections. The Jagger Reading Room is one of several historical buildings on campus that was gutted by fire. Now, it housed thousands of African studies, prints, films, as well as other rare documents. The fire has since been contained, and now a disaster recovery plan is underway. Here's CNC's Monique Motlock with that story. The absolute horror of coming to terms with that loss is, is something we're still going through. Decades of work by the University of Cape Town's special collections team has been reduced to double. The 90-year-old Jagger Reading Room was no match for a blaze that broke out on 18 April on Table Mountain. Housing one of the most extensive collections of African studies material in the world, the loss of the building is devastating. The African studies film collection was lost because it was on the second floor. Around the corner there is my office, where the archives office was. That is where the administrative records of the history of the use of the libraries and of all the agreements that of every donation that's ever been made to the manuscripts repository. So the loss that is felt is not just our loss, it's, it's an international loss. Singer says they are in the process of a digital preservation system. We will be digitally not just backing up our scans, we will be preserving those scans so that servers go down, we can't lose it. Unfortunately, not everything was scanned, but to those who wonder why not everything in the libraries, everything in the archives were scanned, it is not realistic to, to, to expect that. There's hope. Water is being pumped from the basement, but Singer says it seems the losses aren't as extensive as they initially thought. Singer's team is trying to salvage what they can with help from former Special Collections team members and conservators. We have assessed that majority of the material is intact and now it's just a case of salvaging a material that's been water damaged. While the Special Collections team is dealing with the immense loss of years of hard work, UCT is assessing the extent of the damages. The institution says it's also focusing on rebuilding and finding ways to mitigate against future fire damage. Monique Mortlock, Cape Town.